Let It Go is a great song, and it complements a powerful sequence in the movie Frozen. All the musical, cinematic, and poetic elements work tightly together, changing as the character changes. As a musicologist, I wanted to figure out why Let It Go has such a powerful impact. This song expresses the positive and the negative aspects of this moment in Elsa's story, as she finds her freedom, but in a frozen home. And we move from the dark of night to the break of dawn. Elsa is not your typical princess, but she is my nine-year-old daughter's favorite, and I like her myself. The song is empowering and uplifting, as Elsa finally decides to embrace her magic and be herself. Yet she rejects everyone else, including her sister. There are a lot of negative words in the lyrics. I counted five don'ts, four nevers, and three no's. This is not the peaceful resignation of let it be, and it's not let it grow or let it snow either. Elsa releases all her emotion and creativity, but she builds an ice castle of ultimate isolation. The piano intro signals her isolation, and the icy wind chimes and the sound effects bring the chill home to us. It begins with these ominous, descending, and dark open fifths, and a searching melody. emphasizing minor. The lyrics and filming start on a huge scale. We barely notice her as a speck in the dark, as the snow blows right and the camera pans left down to her. Her melody starts off monotone and then descends, matching a general mood of dejection and rejection. The snow blows wide on the mount. Those are all the same note, and then it descends. Mountain tonight, not a footprint to be seen. Goes way down there, and it emphasizes minor harmonies. The line, a kingdom of isolation, is isolated by not rhyming. And then she leaps to the personal level, singing, it looks like I'm the queen. That brief rest suggests that the realization is brought home to her as she sings it, and Adina Menzel clips the word queen as though Elsa doesn't want to accept her royalty. As she sings the swirling storm inside, the vocal melody is tightly circular and syncopated. One, the wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. This is by far the longest shot in the sequence, and the tension is finally released as she says, well now they know, breaking through melodically to that A flat, unveiling her powerful hand and making the camera shoot up high to look down at her from above. Elsa then starts to talk herself into letting go in the chorus section, and the music emphasizes this with strong major chords. A flat, E flat, these chords are tightly related. When she sings, I don't care, that's the shortest line, and she arrives on the I right on beat one with a high note. Let it go, let it go, can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go, turn away and slam the door. I don't care what they're going to say, let the storm rage on. We land in minor, reminding us of the pain that the storm is causing. A new section starts and cuts to her right on beat one, as she begins her march to the chasm, and she marches with the music. Emotionally, she arrives at the other side, liberated, free, no longer afraid. She runs forward, breaking through the frame, as she sings it is time for her to break through. I'm free, it's the shortest line in the song, and it's especially striking because it follows three lines of eight syllables each. So Elsa breaks free from the poetic form and then takes that first step onto the magical bridge. We then get a big orchestral soft rock style for the return of the chorus, and Menzel vocally punches the emphatic lines, here I stand and here I'll stay, with the word here landing on beat one. Elsa stops on here, stamps on stand, and the camera stays on her. The musical bridge section has the longest poetic lines as she builds her castle, and the tension builds musically with syncopated rhythm, increased instrumentation, and a long-held pedal point. 
My power flurries through the air into the ground. And the second time, it repeats. But the third time, it builds up, ratcheting up the energy, moving up one pitch. And one thought crystallizes like an icy blast. The music builds up to that moment. This is a long shot with lots of camera movement. And we feel the power of her architectural creation. Elsa builds with music, like Amphion in Greek mythology. The camera cuts abruptly to her face on beat one as she declares, I'm never going back. Elsa becomes one with the music, letting her hair down, getting groovy, and magically changing into a Snow Queen dress. She struts toward us and toward the sunrise with the beat. She then delivers a huge, sustained high pitch on the word on. Let the storm rage on. The longest and highest pitch in the song, expressing her powers vocally by holding that pitch and her power over the camera, which zooms back suddenly as she hits the high note. Then bam, instant cut right on the beat to her face as she coldly delivers her line, the cold never bothered me anyway, staring directly into the camera and slamming the door in our face. The song ends with an unresolved chord. In this sequence, we know that Elsa is being selfish. The cold might not bother her, but her people and her sisters suffer. She declares that we'll never see her cry. But late in the film, the Ice Queen does melt, expressing her love and saving her sister. Elsa's emotional winter finally thaws into spring. <laughs>